Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to set up Quest Link to use in Unity's play mode. This lets you go in and out of play mode within the Unity editor without having to deploy to your device. This makes iteration in Unity so much faster and easier, it's really a game changer. I'm Game Dev Bill, let's get started. This is going to be one of my shorter videos because, well, there's not that much to it. I just wanted to create a simple resource to help you out if you're trying to set up Quest Link in play mode like I was. Step one is making sure you have the right hardware. This means having the right kind of computer, the specs I'll link to in the description, but basically it's a beefy enough computer to handle driving VR. The second is the cable, and I want to talk a little bit about this. The cable that comes with your Quest won't work for Link. You need to get a dedicated cable just for it. You have two options for this. Either get a generic cable that isn't officially supported by Oculus or get the Oculus official cable. I have both. Let me talk to you a little bit about the differences. The unofficial cable I got for about $20. This one's three meters long. I would recommend at least getting that long and I'll have a link to this one in the description. This one's worked great. I bought it seven months ago and I've used it probably five to 10 hours a week and it's been fine. Though about a week or two ago, it started not working so well. One of the things about Quest Link is it's still in beta and it's a little bit fragile. There's times you're gonna get random disconnects from the headset and it started having a lot more with this cable over the past couple weeks. So I bought the more expensive one. Why didn't I buy this one initially? Well, part of it is the price. The other reason is this one was sold out and even today this one keeps going in and out of stock places. So it might be hard to find this one. The cheaper one may be your only option. This one I've had for about two weeks and I don't have nearly as many disconnects, though they do still happen. I will say, I think that's mostly my computer, not the cable. This cable's five meters long, which is really nice. I will also say the official one is lighter. It feels nicer. It clips into the Quest better. So if you're just messing around and want to try it out, probably go with the inexpensive option. If you want to take this seriously and spend a lot of time in Link, it's probably worth getting the official cable. Again, I'll link both of them in the description. One additional note about the fragility of this link setup is that on a lot of computers, the USB ports aren't all the same. I have three USB 3.0 ports on my computer, but only one of them actually makes link work. For the other two, it just doesn't work, even though it still says it has a 3.0 connection. I also have a USB-C port, which does work. So on my computer, there's four USB ports total. Two of them will work with link and two of them won't. Step two is installing Oculus Desktop. This is pretty straightforward. I'll link to the software in the description, not too much to it. Step three is making sure that the Quest Link actually works. Independent of Unity, just making sure that you have the right hardware and everything's hooked up right. So to do that, you just put the headset on, plug in the cable, and you should see a pop-up that says, enable Oculus Link. Next up, we finally get into Unity. So you need to create a new Unity project. You can use the built-in renderer or universal render pipeline. I recommend URP. Once that's up, we need to open up Package Manager and add some key packages. So the first one is the Oculus XR plugin. This is what's actually needed to get play mode to talk to your headset. The second one I'm gonna install is the XR Interaction Toolkit. This is actually in preview, this is from Unity. You don't need this to get Link working, but it's what I always set as the foundation for my VR games. Using the XR Interaction Toolkit is totally optional. It's up to you how you wanna set up your scene. I'm just showing you the quick and easy way I know how. With that toolkit, I can go into my scene, right click, go to XR and room scale XR rig. And now I have everything I need to be able to do XR in this scene. Whatever you do to set up your XR rig, you do need to get the project settings correct in Unity to get Link to work. So go to edit project settings. From there, you go to XR plugin management. This is gonna look a little bit different depending on which version of Unity you're in. I'm in 2020.1, so this is what it looks like. Basically, you're just enabling Oculus within Unity. I will point out, I'm enabling it here within the desktop settings. You can do desktop or Android. The main thing is whatever build target your editor is set to, you need to have it enabled when you go into play mode. So if you're going into play mode in Android build target, then you need to have this on in Android. The next and final step is to go into play mode in Unity. So if you do this a lot, you'll get good at finding control P on your keyboard, get into play mode, Grab your controllers and voila, I'm in play mode. I can look around, I can move my hands. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and click the little like notification bell thing. I've got written tutorials on gamedevbuild.com and several other videos on YouTube. But again, I just appreciate all of you. So thank you so much for watching.